Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your students' progress during the midterm exam. You can do this for any quiz on Moodle. You will need to check the students' progress two times during the midterm exam. The first time will be at the beginning of the test. You want to check whether your students have actually started the quiz or the, have, have actually started the attempt and are not just staring at the screen. You can do that after the first 10 minutes when things have settled down. The second time that you're going to check uh, is at the end of the uh, exam or at the end of the time. You want to check whether your students have submitted uh, and you, you can also check whether they have skipped any pages or forgotten big chunks uh, or have not maybe answered big chunks of the test. So here I have uh, my meet screen. I'm only going to open um, another tab and go to the Moodle of uh, my course. If you are uh, invigilating two uh, sections, you will have two screens and you can uh, open a tab in any one of them. So just go to the quiz. So for example, uh, if this is my midterm exam, so I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to see this page. Here, I'm going to click on Attempts. And then I will select my section. OK, after I've done that, I need to check those settings. So make sure that these are all ticked. And here, you can check what you want to see. For, for example, I'd like to see everyone in this section who have started and who have not started the attempt. So I'm going to click this. Enrolled users who have or have not attempted the quiz. And this will show me a list of, of all the students who have actually started uh, the, uh, the midterm exam and who have not. And then I'm just going to click Show Report. And then I'm just going to scroll down. And here I see the names of my students and I see that, for example, here these students are have finished. You're, you're going to see that at the end when they have finished submitting. But if they've just started, you will see the word in progress and you can select see the time when they have started, the exact time. So it will just say in progress. Probably at the beginning it will be in progress for everyone. If the student has not started the attempt you will you will not see anything here it will just be you know a dash like this so you will know that this student has not started uh, the attempt and uh, if they have started and they say miss I've started and you can't see well maybe you just need to refresh the page because this is not live so you need to just refresh the page uh, to make sure that, you know, uh, the status changes. So you will follow the same steps at the end when you want to check whether they have submitted and you will see that uh, you will see the time when they've submitted and you will see the word finished here. You can also see um, how well they've done. So for example, if there is a student, of course, this is in progress here, so I cannot see um, what uh, the student has answered. You can only see whether they've answered uh, at when they submit, after they submit uh, their attempt. But while they are taking uh, the test, you will not see anything. You will just see the word in progress and the time that they have started. So here, at the end, after everyone submits, you can just have a look and see maybe if you have some students who have uh, maybe missed a page or something, you know, and make a note of that. And that's pretty much it. So um, I wish you good luck 